Hi, my name is Rita Nutt, and for my speech, I would like to talk to you about thyroid disease. Um, I wanted to inform you on the most common problems of the thyroid, the symptoms of them, the testing that they do for it, and the treatments. Now, what is your thyroid? Well, your thyroid is a small gland, it's butterfly shaped, and it is located in the lower part of your neck. Now the function of the thyroid is to secrete hormones. Now the um, hormone that's, that's secreted through the thyroid, it sends energy to the cells of the body. Now I, two years ago, I was diagnosed with thyroid disease. It first started with a border in my neck, which is a uh, large lump. And what they did is they looked at it and it was a little too big to monitor it. If it's smaller, they'll usually monitor it, maybe treat it with medicine, but what they had to do for me is I had to uh, do a, the testing that they did on me was a radio uptake scan, a radioactive uptake scan, and what I had to do is take a dye in my body and they did a CT scan, and what they were trying to do was rule out cancer. Well, they weren't able to rule it out with that test, so I had to have a needle biopsy. And what they did was they numbed my neck and they inserted a needle, pulled out some tissue, and uh, went over that. And they still could not rule out the possibility of cancer. So I had to eventually had to have surgery. And they took out part of my thyroid. They took out the right part of my thyroid. And now my treatment is is I have to have take a medicine a thyroid medicine every day for the rest of my life to replace the part of the thyroid that they took it was a very simple uh, procedure that they did I have just a, a not a very visible scar at all so I wanted to share that with you and that's why I decided to talk about thyroid disease because I had no idea even what a thyroid was until I got diagnosed with it. So I thought this would be real good information. It's very common in women to have thyroid problems. Um, some of the uh, symptoms, the most, I mean, some of the most common problems that can develop are hypothyroidism, which is an underactive thyroid. Then there's hyperthyroidism, which is an overactive thyroid. There's a gorder, which is an enlarged thyroid, is what I had. Then there's thyroid nodules, which are lumps in the thyroid gland. Then there's thyroid cancer, which is malignant thyroid nodules or tissue. Then there's thyroiditis. Now, then there's the, this, I want to talk to you about the symptoms of them. Now, if you have hypothyroidism, you can have fatigue, weight gain, uh, low blood pressure, fluid retention, depression, even body pain. If you have hyperthyroidism, you can have an anxiety, insomnia, high blood pressure, high heart rate, you can even have vision problems. Then there's an autoimmune, which are two diseases that directly affect the thyroid, and that's Hashimoto's and Graves disease. Now I had the Hashimoto's disease, and what that is, is it, uh, it rotates between the hyperthyroidism and the hypothyroidism. Then the Graves disease uh, typically mirrors the hyperthyroidism. Then you have your gorder and your nodules, which are swollen, tender, tightness in the neck, hoarseness, coughing. It's usually visible. Then you have thyroid cancer, which is a lump in the neck, voice change, hard to breathe, uh, hard to swallow. Then we have the thyroiditis, which is the pain and tenderness in the neck. Those are the, uh, the, the symptoms of the most common problems of a thyroid uh, problems. Then I want to talk to you about the testing that they do. They can do, um, they can um, do blood tests, they can do thyroid imaging testing and then they can do biopsies. On me they did a biopsy and they also did an imaging test. And those are just some um, outpatient procedures. And then I wanted to talk to you about the treatment that they have. 
uh, one of the treatments is surgery, which is what I had. Another is medicine. They can just uh, give you medicine and try to see if it works out on its own. If it's a small, small border, then they'll just monitor it. Um, I also wanted to let you know that um, it is very treatable. It is common. It's a lot more common than people think that it is. Uh, when I got diagnosed and went through uh, the process of getting mine taken out, I talked to quite a few people that had had it and I had only talked to one person that actually had the surgery. Most of the people, uh, they just monitored it and used medicine or they uh, did a radioactive uh, treatments on it and it got rid of it but uh, I did find out that it is uh, real common in women if you have trouble uh, with weight gain or you have trouble uh, losing weight or you you know you having trouble it, it affects your metabolism so if you're having trouble with your metabolism um, it could be your thyroid and you might want to get your thyroid checked out now that you're aware of the signs and the symptoms of the thyroid and um, what it can do and the, you know the possible effects and um, that way you can be more uh, you know aware of it and if you have any of these symptoms or problems then you can go get it checked out by your doctor do a simple blood test they just check your your hormone levels and I just want to let you know that just because it is common it is very treatable Thank you very much.